Kennedy. Uh, over here. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, wild fight in there, but initial thoughts after a, a fight like that? Um, I just want to give all the glory to God and um, thank my coaches, my teammates, my sponsors, and um, I'm just happy. Then it looked like he was he 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 was finding a lot of success in the first round. I think he threw a hundred strikes in that one round. Did you feel he was getting tired in there after a while? Oh, absolutely. I was. I shouldn't have taken those shots, <clears throat> but um, I'm just trying to get my mind in it because I had a, a a year and a half layoff from the cage, and I'm um, just trying to get focused. But um, I, he did get some strikes in, but I just knew I had to pressure him and keep that forward pressure because his card is going to continue to wither as time goes on. And while he was throwing in there, the broadcast was saying a lot that uh, Carlos's head was like straight up in the air, wasn't yes. moving at all. Were you seeing that too and just waiting for your opening to connect with those punches? Yeah, me and my coach, we study on um, the city kickboxing guys, and we see that they usually keep their chin up in the air. And um, they have that lateral movement, and um, he just wanted me to throw more of the hooks to try to get him to my power hand before I threw my straight. So um, we just worked on the hooks in the back before I stepped out to the cage. And then you, you mentioned the long layoff. What do you want the rest of your 2021 to look like moving forward? Oh, I want to get more fights, but I just have to go back to the drawing board and work on my craft and with my coach and my teammates. And um, when I'm ready, my coach will let me know. And um, he'll pick, he'll, he's my manager, so he'll get me straight from there. Over here. Yes, sir. Obviously, each fight is an individual matchup. But did you feel like this was a little bit of a setup? He was obviously one of the three city kickboxing guys fighting tonight. Did you feel like there was just, it was kind of set up to be a showcase for Carlos? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, he he's, he wants to get paid just as much as I want to get paid. So I'm not going to put so much emphasis on that setup part of it. But um, I just want to win. Once I get the victory, I just want to go home and um, thank God. That's pretty much it. Thank you. It seemed almost in this this time off right here in the front. Yes. It seemed almost in this time off, a mindset. Something had changed within you as well. You seemed very at ease, and I think at some points in the past, it almost looked like you had a hard time kind of hitting the gas pedal to kind of get going forward. But tonight, we didn't see any of that. What what really changed in this time off? Was it being able to study the game because you looked completely different than the last time we saw you in the cage tonight? Absolutely, sir. Um, yeah, my coach, we worked on my um my violence and how to like channel that because usually I'm kind of wild and I'm waiting too much and I'm doing all other stuff but he's we trying to focus on my my pressure and work on my my um, punches and my strikes and not to waste any energy just focus on pressuring and striking and not wasting any more time and there was there's a couple moments when you're up against the cage you had kind of had your hands up in a high guard and he was throwing lots of punches yes was he hurting you at any of those moments or did you know that it was just a matter of let him tire himself out at during those moments it was, it was stupid for me to wait there but um i knew that he was going to tire himself out because i could hear him panting so um once he threw like the fourth the fifth body shot i could hear his corners I told him to throw more and um he threw like five six and um i knew he was tired so i didn't reset and pressured him and I'm sure that it's been really quickly since the fights happened, but are there things that you could look at that you're really happy that you improved upon from the last time that you were in the cage? Um, the pressure. I, I worked on my pressure more and not giving him chance to move around, like my coach said, because we knew they threw a lot of leg kicks. And it, <coughs> they did the lateral movement a lot. So my coach wants me to pressure him and stay close to him so he won't have no room for the leg kicks. And when he did land, it wasn't, it wasn't too much power on it because I was so close to him. And uh, lastly, for me, I know right now it's it's nice and quiet out there. You can hear the hear your coach when he's calling things out. Yes. Are you kind of hoping it stays like this way for a little <laughs> bit? Yeah, I like it this way. You know, I could hear everything. My coach, everything he said, pressure, move around, uh, grab him, everything. And it's more like calming. And so I could hear every everything he says. And I could hear it in my opponent's corner, too. So when they're chanting out um, information to their pupil, I could hear it, too, and make adjustments. It was a wonderful performance. Congrats on the victory. Thank you so much, sir. That's it?